everyone i'm yashaswini trivedi and i welcome you all to our channel so after years of contemplating and wondering if i should or i shouldn't when you finally decide to publish your book the most challenging part can be to find out the right mode of publication and for some it can be an extremely tedious process especially now when there are n number of options available out there in the market it is actually a big deal to trust someone with your work and proper research must be done for that we understand your concern and in order to make your task a little simpler today we decided to sketch out five major differences between the two most commonly approached modes of publication that is self publishing and traditional publishing all right so the first major point of difference i have for you all is of permission and approach with self publishing houses you do not actually have to wait for someone to give you a green signal you can directly approach them and easily get your work published because they are ready when you are however with traditional publishing houses it is in the hands of the publisher to first approve your project and it's ultimately the publisher's call also the approval is a bit of a time consuming process the next major point of difference is of time getting your work published through a traditional publishing house is comparatively a time consuming process and may take months or even years whereas if you go for self publishing houses it's just a matter of few days or months the third point of difference between the two is that of creative control since traditional publishers aim to maximize the profit there are chances when editors may want to make certain changes in the work of the author which at times isn't acceptable by them because let's get real it takes a great amount of courage to trust someone to rearrange your work however in self publishing suggestions are given to the authors in terms of editing to make your book more marketable but at the end of the day it's the author's decision that is respected in order to retain the essence of the book so the fourth and one of the most crucial points of difference between the two is that of copyrights so once an author signs a contract with a traditional publishing house the rights of the book are then essentially shared between the author and the publisher but if they plan to self publish the author gets an opportunity to sell their books on any global market and at any platform since they retain 100% rights to their book last but not the least we have the difference of cost profit and royalties now traditional publishing doesn't necessarily mean something which is absolutely free but yes there are no major upfront financial costs that the author has to deal with while self publishing does require a fixed amount of investment by the author for the services that they are being provided and here the question of profit and royalties come into play traditional publishers offer very low royalty rates which begin from 7% and goes up to 25% maximum in the most generous cases since in self publishing the author has already invested for the services they get a major chunk of the profit and receive up to 75% to 100% of royalties on their sales a little bit of your research for your project can be highly rewarding in the longer run so make sure that you select wisely and are thorough with all the terms and conditions that your publisher offers you because at the end of the day you are the creator and it's ultimately your project so choose what suits you the best and what makes you feel empowered but hey make sure that you publish and let the world know what you're capable of if you have any questions or video suggestions please feel free to drop them down in the comment section below Log on to www.bluerosepublishers.com to know more about us. Like the video if you find it useful and for more content related to publishing stay tuned to our channel. Thank you so much for watching until the next time take care bye.